In the time of the Buddha, there was a disciple named Subhuti, who had delved deeply into the teachings of emptiness. He possessed a profound understanding of the nature of reality the perspective that nothing exists in isolation, but rather in its intricate relationship of subjectivity and objectivity. Subhuti's quest for wisdom led him to a state of sublime emptiness. He would often sit beneath a grand tree, his mind tranquil and his heart open to the mysteries of existence. On this particular day, as he sat in meditation beneath the ancient branches, a gentle breeze began to stir. Petals from the nearby flowers, touched by the invisible fingers of the wind, began to fall gracefully around him. In this state of serene contemplation, Subhuti felt an ethereal presence, as if the very heavens were whispering their secrets to him. It was the gods themselves who had drawn near, their celestial voices softly rustling the leaves. We are praising you for your discourse on emptiness, the gods whispered, their voices like the gentlest of breezes. Subhuti, still immersed in his meditative state, looked up with a serene smile, but I have not spoken of emptiness, he replied, his words as tranquil as the ripples on a calm pond. The gods, their forms hidden within the rustling leaves, responded with a wisdom that transcended words. You have not spoken of emptiness, they acknowledged, and yet, in your silence, you have spoken the truest words of all. In that moment, a profound realization washed over Subhuti. The very act of trying to articulate the ineffable essence of emptiness was an exercise in limitation. Emptiness, he understood, could not be confined to words, concepts, or intellectual discourse. It was a truth that could only be known through direct experience, through the boundless expanses of silence and presence. As Subhuti contemplated the words of the gods, he felt his own being dissolve into the vastness of emptiness. The boundaries that separated him from the world around him blurred, and he entered a state of pure receptivity a state, where subject and object, self and other, merged into a seamless whole. In this state of profound unity, Subhuti realized the essence of emptiness. It was not a concept to be grasped, but a reality to be lived. It was the recognition that all things, in their interdependence, were empty of fixed, independent existence. They existed only in their ever-changing relationship to one another, like the endless dance of waves upon the shore. The gods, seeing Subhuti's understanding, smiled with a luminous radiance that illuminated the entire grove. This is the true emptiness, they proclaimed, their voices a harmonious symphony of celestial praise. As they spoke, blossoms began to rain down upon Subhuti like a shower of fragrant blessings. Each petal in its delicate descent carried with it the essence of emptiness the reminder that all things, in their impermanence and interdependence, were connected in the tapestry of existence. Subhuti, bathed in the petals of wisdom, sat in profound stillness, his heart overflowing with gratitude. He had glimpsed the true emptiness, not as an intellectual concept or a philosophical doctrine, but as a living reality a reality that transcended the limitations of language and thought. In the days and years that followed, Subhuti continued to walk the path of emptiness. He shared his insights with fellow disciples and seekers, guiding them toward the direct experience of the true emptiness. His teachings emphasized the importance of stillness, silence, and profound receptivity as the gateway to understanding. As disciples gathered around Subhuti, they too were drawn into the luminous embrace of emptiness. Blossoms of wisdom continued to fall around them, a reminder of the interconnectedness and impermanence of all things. The story of Subhuti and the God's Whisperings became a cherished teaching in the Buddhist tradition a teaching that reminded all seekers that the ultimate truth of emptiness could not be confined to words or concepts. It was a truth to be lived, to be experienced in the boundless expanses of silence and presence. And so, the story of Subhuti and the true emptiness serves as a timeless reminder that the most profound truths of existence are not found in the complexities of intellectual discourse, but in the simplicity of direct experience. It teaches us that emptiness is not a concept to be grasped, but a reality to be lived, a truth that reveals itself in the stillness of the heart and the silent depths of awareness.